Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss multiple choice questions of acids and bases. Which of the following is not a Lewis base? Not a Lewis base means we have to identify which of the following is a Lewis acid. Lewis acid means it is an electron deficient compound. Whereas Lewis base means it is an electron rich species. So coming to the given options, the first option is C2H4. C2H4 means it is ethylene and it can be written as CH2 double bond CH2. So if a double bond is present between the two carbon atoms, it will act as an electron rich species and hence it can be called as a Lewis base. Coming to the second option, it is BF3, boron trifluoride. It consists of six electrons and hence it is the electron deficient compound. Hence, it acts as the Lewis acid. Coming to the third option, OH-. Again, it is a electron rich species and hence acts as the Lewis base. Coming to the fourth option, it is ammonia. So, the nitrogen carries lone pair of electrons again it is an electron rich species and acts as the Lewis base so in the given options option B that is boron trifluoride is the right option coming to the second question which of the following is relatively strong Lewis acid so the given options are BF3 BCL3, B, Br3, Bi3. So all of them are Lewis acids. The only difference is with respect to the anions. So coming to the strength of Lewis acids, as the size of the anion increases, the strength of the acid also increases. So fluoride is less acidic than chloride which is less acidic than bromide and it is less acidic than iodide that means option d that is boron triiodide is the strongest lewis acid in i3 minus lewis base is so initially i3 minus can be written as i2 plus i minus so here I minus is the electron rich species. So here we have to identify which species is responsible for the basic behavior. So I minus is responsible for the Lewis base. So option C is the right answer. The unit of ionic product of water is so the ionic product of water that is kw can be written as the molar concentration of h plus and oh minus ions so the concentration of h plus can be expressed in terms of moles per liter so here the unit of ionic product of water is mole square per liter square so in the given options option b is the right answer that is mole square per liter square what is the h plus ion concentration of a NaOH solution if its pOH is 11.3 so here POH of the solution is given as 11.3 and we are supposed to calculate what is the H plus ion concentration. So once we know the value of POH, we can calculate the value of pH. Why? pH and POH is equal to 14. Then pH is equal to 14 minus POH. So that equal to 14 minus 11.3. So in this case the pH is equal to 2.7. So once we know the value of pH we can calculate the H plus ion concentration by using the expression H plus ion concentration is equal to 
टेन पवर माइनस पी एच सो दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन पवर माइनस टू पॉइंट सेवन सो हियर ऑलवेज टेन पवर माइनस टू पॉइंट सेवन मीन्स वी हैव टू चेक द एंटी लॉग सो इट शुड बी ए होल नंबर सो माइनस टू पॉइंट सेवन कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस थ्री प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सो इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज टेन पावर माइनस थ्री प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सो इट इज लाइक टेन पावर ए प्लस बी सो हियर वी विल सपरेट द टर्म्स सो इट बिकम्स टेन पावर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री इंटू टेन पावर माइनस थ्री सो द एंटी लॉग ऑफ टेन पावर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री इज वन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फाइव एंड हेंस फॉर द गिवेन सोल्यूशन द हेच प्लस एन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फाइव इंटू टेन पावर माइनस थ्री सो कमिंग टू द गिवेन ऑप्शन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज टू पॉइंट सेवन इंटू टेन पावर माइनस थ्री सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज टू पॉइंट सेवन इंटू टेन पावर माइनस ट्वेल्व थर्ड ऑप्शन इज फाइव पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन पावर माइनस सेवन कमिंग टू द फोर्थ ऑप्शन इट इज टू इंटू टेन पावर माइनस थ्री इट इज वेरी क्लोज टू द अपटेन्ड आंसर एंड हेंस ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर the ph of neutral solution is for the neutral solution the ph is equal to 7 so option d is the right answer if the ph is less than 7 then the solution is called as acidic solution at the same time if the ph is greater than 7 the solution is called as basic solution coming to the next question if 5.6 grams of koh is dissolved in 1 liter of water what is the ph of the solution so here we are supposed to calculate the ph of the solution in order to calculate ph of the solution one must know the concentration of h plus ion so here in this case the given solution is koh so initially let us know the concentration so normality is equal to here the solution is prepared in 1 liter solution so normality can be calculated by using the expression weight by gram equivalent weight so that is equal to 5.6 by 56 so the normality is equal to 0.1 so normality means here the given solution is koh solution so the concentration of oh minus ions in this case is equal to 10 power minus 1 so this expression is just similar to the concentration of oh minus is equal to 10 power minus poh so here what is the value of poh poh is equal to 1 so once we know the value of poh we can calculate the ph value by using the expression 14 minus poh so it is equal to 14 minus 1 and hence the ph of the solution is equal to 13 so option b is the right answer conjugate base of hydrogen molecule is so here we are supposed to calculate the conjugate base so the given molecule is hydrogen h2 so conjugate base of h2 molecule means h2 is acting as a as an acid so what is the behavior of an acid it donates a proton and hence it becomes H minus, so hydride ion that is H minus is the conjugate base. So in this case, option B that is H minus ion is the conjugate base of hydrogen molecule.
which of the following is the conjugate base of hcl so conjugate base means hcl is behaving as an acid so what is the behavior of an acid it donates a proton so what is remaining cl minus so cl minus is the conjugate base so in this case option b that is cl minus is the conjugate base of hcl so conjugate acid of hpo4 minus 2 so here hpo4 minus 2 is behaving as a base so what is the nature of the base it can accept a proton then it becomes h2po4 minus so what is the conjugate acid of hpo4 minus 2 it is h2po4 minus so in this case option b that is h2po4 minus is the right answer which of the following is not a conjugate acid base remember that always conjugate acid base pair differ by a proton so we have to check the given options so coming to the first option it is acetic acid and acetate so they again differ by h plus coming to the second option sulfuric acid h2so4 and hso4 minus they differ by h plus coming to the third option hf and f minus they again differ by h plus coming to the fourth option h2so4 and so4 minus 2 they differ by h2 plus 2 so option d it is not at all a conjugate acid base pair identify the buffer solutions what is the importance of a buffer solution it maintains constant ph value again they may be of two types acidic buffer and basic buffer how an acidic buffer will be prepared it is always prepared from a weak acid and its salt from a strong base similarly basic buffer solution can be prepared from a weak base and its salt from a strong acid so in order to prepare a buffer solution always the acid should be weak if it is a base it should be weak so initially we have to check the first element so coming to the option a it is hcl so hcl is a strong acid so buffer solution will not be prepared so coming to the option b it is a weak base okay we can check it so the corresponding salt is prepared from a strong base so it is the buffer solution coming to the other options it is a strong base so it is not at all a buffer solution coming to the fourth option it is a weak base but it is not the corresponding salt so it is also wrong option so in this case option b that is the mixture of ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride always results in the formation of a buffer solution especially basic buffer solution Ten mL of zero point zero one normal HCl is diluted to hundred mL. Find the pH of resulting solution. So here initially the volume of the solution is ten mL. Initial normality is zero point zero one. Final volume is hundred mL. and here we have to find out the final normality so final normality can be calculated by using the expression n1 v1 equal to n2 v2 and that implies n2 is equal to n1 v1 by v2 and hence n2 is equal to 10 into 0.01 divided by 100 
सो हियर इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन पावर माइनस थ्री नॉर्मल सो हियर इट इज द एच सी एल सोल्यूशन दैट मीन्स हियर इट इज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ हेच प्लस आयोन्स दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन पावर माइनस थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन पावर माइनस पी हेच सो फ्रॉम दिस एक्सप्रेशन इट इज वेरी क्लियर दैट पी हेच इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो इन दिस केस ऑप्शन बी दैट इज थ्री इज द राइट आंसर द पी हेच ऑफ ए सोल्यूशन इज थ्री इट इज डायल्यूटेड टेन पवर थ्री टाइम्स सो कमिंग टू द पी हेच ऑफ द सोल्यूशंस एस्पेशली इफ इट इज एन एसिडिक सोल्यूशन इफ इट इज डायल्यूटेड बाई टेन टाइम्स देन ऑलवेज इट्स पी हेच विल बी इंक्रीज बाय वन सो इन दिस केस इट इज डायल्यूटेड बाय टेन पवर थ्री टाइम्स दैट मीन्स द पी हेच ऑफ द एसिडिक सोल्यूशन इज इंक्रीज बाय थ्री टाइम्स Why here the pH is equal to three? It is an acidic solution. In the case of acidic solutions, here the pH is increased by one time if it is diluted by ten times. Here it is diluted by ten power three times means it is its pH is increased by three times, and hence the original pH is three and it is increased by three. And finally, the pH of the resulting solution is equal to six. so in this case the ph of the solution is equal to 6 so coming to the next question that is the poh of a solution is 12 so it is a basic solution again it is diluted by 10 power 3 times remember that in the case of basic solutions if it is diluted by 10 times then the ph is decreased by 1 time If it is diluted by ten power three times, then what happens? Its pH is decreased by three times. So here the original pH is twelve, and it is diluted by ten power three times, and hence the pH is equal to twelve minus three, and that is equal to nine. So in this case, option B, that is nine, is the right option. So if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day